talk about simple ways to elevate your home to make it feel nice and inviting. Now, the good thing about these tips that I'm going to share with you is that you can make these little changes whether you're living in a rental or you own your home but you're just not ready to make any major renovations just yet. The goal here is to make wherever you are at, even if it's just temporary, the best that it can be. So throughout the video, I will be sharing some pictures from some of my favorite interior designers and home accounts that I love to follow and that I get so much inspiration from. Before we jump in, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would love to have you here. So tip number one to elevating your home is to add texture. And by texture, I mean curtains, rugs, throw pillows, wooden elements. These are little things that make such a drastic difference in your space. They warm up, dress up your home, and makes it feel complete. Of course, you can also add texture with so many other things. For example, books. I don't know why, but I love seeing a good stack of books in a room. Um, you can also add texture with a throw blanket on a couch or even by mixing materials like a leather couch with a velvet armchair across from it. All of these things add nice visual interest. Tip number two is to swap and update. I know a lot of people living in rentals are a little hesitant to make any changes in their place because it's not actually their place but there are things that you can very easily swap out and update like doorknobs cabinet knobs light fixtures shower heads window treatments of course if you are swapping anything out you just want to make sure you're keeping the original stuff so that whenever you do move out you can just easily swap it back and the house is just as the landlord left it. Tip number three is to paint or add wallpaper to your walls. I know painting sounds a little daunting, but the aftermath of a fresh coat of paint on your walls is just so nice and clean. But if you're in a rental, just wanna make sure it's okay with your landlord first. But if not, then don't worry because wallpaper is back style and I am so here for it. I think wallpaper is a great way to add some flair to your walls and it's just a great alternative to paint if you can't paint your walls. If you do go the wallpaper route, just make sure it's a good removable wallpaper and that it doesn't damage the paint beneath. Speaking of walls, tip number four is to add art to your walls. Art on your walls brings a room to life. Hang a nice painting over your couch, your bed, over the toilet, or add a nice little painting on your kitchen counter. You can also do a fun gallery wall with family pictures or just random art. Adding mirrors on your walls is also really nice and pretty or even just leaning it against the wall. And if positioned in the right spot in your room, they will catch and reflect light. And I just think that's the most magical thing. Tip number five is to accessorize. Styling your home with accessories gives a space character and a fun personal touch. Styling coffee tables and built-in shelves or floating shelves is so fun to do, but you want to make sure that you're not overdoing it with the accessories and then just have a bunch of trinkets laying around your house. Tip number six is to invest in quality and timeless pieces. Purchase items that you can use right now in your temporary home, but you know that you'll be able to use in your forever home. So these can be little splurge items like a really nice mirror or a really nice lamp, light fixture, um, appliances even, or even a nice quality rug. Just nice splurge items like that that you can save for your forever home in the future. Tip number seven is to rearrange your space. If you're tired of the same old layout, then revitalize that space by Moving things around, rearranging your furniture and decor and putting them somewhere where you think might look good. Doing this creates a fresh new look and gives you just a whole new perspective on your space. Tip number eight is to add life to your space. Get some plants, a nice olive tree, a fiddle leaf tree, some fresh flowers, succulents, grow herbs in your kitchen. All of this life and green in your house is such 
a mood booster and has so many benefits and they also look amazing in your house. Tip number nine is to have a nice smelling home. I think every house has a unique smell. There will be times where I'll smell something and it just smells so familiar and then I'm like, oh, this smells like so-and-so's house and I just think it's crazy how scents can really bring you back to a certain time and place. I love that. But anyways, a home that smells good is a pleasure to be in. Whether it's the smell of coffee brewing or a home-cooked meal, candles or essential oils in a diffuser, all of these things bring a nice, cozy vibe to your house. My last tip to elevating your home and making it feel and look the best that it can be is to host. Have your family over, have your best friends over for dinners, game nights, Bible studies, breakfast, brunch, or just invite someone over for coffee. To me, there's nothing more filling and joyful than sharing and creating memories in your home with those that you love. Home is my favorite place to be. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these tips. I hope some of them were helpful. Let me know what some of your tips are. I would love to hear them and also incorporate them into my house. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.